It was played back in 2009, uh, U.S. Open in Indianapolis. I was 15 years old at the time. I was still under 2,200. Actually, this tournament was when I crossed the 2,200 mark to become a national master. And it was a really good tournament for me. Um, it was a nine-round event, big open section. Um, earlier in the tournament, I drew Grandmaster Jesse Cry. It was my first time ever drawing a Grandmaster in a tournament game, so that was exciting. And then this game happened, um, playing John Fedorowicz. Uh, the day before he was, uh, or the day before we played this game, he was inducted into the World, was it the World Chess Hall of Fame? I think it was the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame. So it was a huge like moment for him, and uh, but he wasn't having the best event. And I remember when he came to the game, he just looked tired. I think he was probably up late the the night before. And then we played the game. He was white. I'll just go through. It's a relatively short game. I had a little bit of time to prepare beforehand. So I was expecting this um, Queen's Gambit declined exchange variation. And this is all, all theory. And then this is this position I was expecting Queen F3. It's a main line where it usually leads to a very quiet position. Bishop G6, Bishop take F6. I guess I could play this out. Pretty typical line which okay this has happened numerous times before so i was expecting kind of a long middle game end game grind um but then he surprised me instead of playing queen f3 he played pawn g4 which kind of came out of nowhere and it was my first time actually seeing this type of move of course when you see this move the first thing you have to ask yourself is can you take on g4 uh, which the answer is no, black cannot take on g4 because of bishop take f6, and white just wins a piece. Uh, so I played bishop e6, he played h3, we develop, and he was playing super aggressively f4, threatening f5. But I saw the threat, I played knight b6. And like, okay, this position actually looks okay for white. I think white controls a lot of space. And it's scary when you're black and you're playing a grandmaster and they're just controlling so much space. But the thing to realize is sometimes white's a bit overextended in these cases. And I guess he was provoked to overextend even further. And now when I played queen d6, my main intention was to prevent him from playing f5. But he played f5 anyway. Um, and then I took a long think because I was conflicted whether or not to play queen g3, which was my original intention. But I went ahead and played it. And then he ran away. And then I played this move knight e4, which just made everything really crazy. And it took me a long time to play knight e4 too, because just so many things are happening in this position. Bishop staring at each other, my bishop attacked, so many pieces directed at e4 potential to attack his king even further and uh it kind of hurt my head it was also the last round so we were both tired but i think his mistake from this position he was just moving too quickly i don't think he saw okay as we'll see he didn't see some basic tactics um he took on e4 i take he takes and then queen f2 and this is a moment he just played way too quickly. There's only one good move for white here. I think during the game I was hoping for something like queen e2. And then I have some nice uh, knight c4 move. And then knight take b2. With a queen defending via x-ray vision. Then bishop b4. And that would... This is just winning a queen for black. Uh, but he didn't play queen e2. He played an even worse move. He played king c3. Such a bad move. Um, and this is where I would say, like, okay, if this is on YouTube, which I'm probably going to upload this to YouTube. So for the YouTube viewers who didn't cheat and see the notation, even for the Twitch viewers too, uh, feel free to pause and find the best move for black, the winning move for black. This is This is probably the move that he just overlooked. So black to move and win. 
And I'll show it once uh, someone says it in the chat. Keith Patrick saw it. <laughs> what a cheater. <laughs> that was my fault for not putting on training mood earlier. Okay, dev dog. Dev dog has found it. Yeah, bishop e4 check. Bishop take g5. Bishop take g5 is interesting. Um, but it just leads to trades. Bishop b4 is just crushing. And then he just resigned. Like he barely even thought before resigning. And I was just in shock. The like, first victory over a GM. Like I was black, 16 moves. Um, so it was a good experience. And this game was broadcast via Monroy. It's like the um maybe the newer players don't know what Monroy is, but it was like the first broadcasting system. So people were watching online and a lot of people thought it was like a bug in the system that this could actually happen. But uh but yeah, it was nice. Good memories. If he takes on B4, I'm just taking on B2. If king a5, queen b5 mate. If king c5, I could play queen a3, which is mate immediately. Um, but maybe I would play queen b5 and then knight c8 and then make his king walk all the way into my crib. And then probably play queen b6 mate. Um, <laughs> which would be a hilarious finish. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. So anyway, I'll probably I'll probably make a clip out of this and put it on YouTube. That's what I did for the last stream. So for the YouTube audience who's watching, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, just let me know in the chat. And uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.